Hi guys, it's Christine and I am here today with a layout that I did just for fun. Um, I kind of needed a brain break, uh, no responsibilities, and so I decided I would just share one with you today that I was doing for myself. Um, one of my favorite things to do is just tell the stories of daily life. Little things that I want to remember about my kids in two years or five years or 20 years that I will otherwise forget. And so that is the purpose of this layout. Um, recently, I was up in the middle of the night messing around with some uh, scrapbooking supplies because I couldn't sleep. And I was playing with the frames and tags set from Flea Market from Doodlebug and laid them all out and realized, hey, you know, that would make a really cool focal point and centerpiece on a layout. And so that's where this layout was born. Three in the morning, a few weeks ago, and I set it aside and have come back to it now. The frames and tags from Doodlebug are a fairly new addition to their collections. They are die cuts and they are two-sided, which makes them super awesome because you can play with the patterns a whole bunch or you can simply use a calmer, more monochromatic side. You can use it as an accent or an embellishment like I am doing here, or you could use them as a traditional tag and write on them. Um, for this layout, I chose to use the sides that were either monochromatic or had the white on them because I didn't want too many patterns going on because it gets to be really a busy layout quickly with all those tags and shapes and colors. So I stuck with those. And what you're seeing me do now is I am using my big clear ruler to uh, form the edge of where I don't want the tags to go below. I, as you can see, I taped it down with some washi tape. Super handy thing about washi tape. It always comes back up real easy, but it holds securely when you want it to. Um, so I'm using that as my border for the bottom and then now I'm moving it up to the top and that way it keeps my borders nice and even. Um, I am not, not the best at keeping things straight and even so I rely on this ruler a lot and honestly I can't wait for that new laser square to come out from We Are Memory Keepers. It came out on HSN like two weeks ago and as soon as it is in the stores, I'm going to get it. Because when they debut debuted that at CHA last January, I was like, I am saving my money and buying that product as soon as I can. Simply for helping me keep things straight. Um, so if you haven't seen that, you probably want to check it out. And you'll be seeing it in future videos, I guarantee that. It's supposed to be out in stores in like the next few weeks, I think. So... Yay, I'm excited for something else to make my process a little easier and uh, streamlined. Um, so as you can see, I am putting down the tags and, you know, I kind of tried to spread out colors, spread out sizes, spread out shapes. And then you can still see, though, there's a lot of holes there. Um, those are going to be filled up. You're going to see before too long I'm filling in with some other embellishments. Um... The story behind this layout is my son, he's four, he likes to yell out at things, not funny, when something, something's happening and people are laughing and he doesn't actually think it's funny. So he does this a lot when he watches um, different Peanuts movies. Snoopy will be laughing at something and he'll yell at Snoopy and say, not funny, Snoopy. And so as we were driving and he was watching a DVD and yelling at that, my older kids said, hey, you got to scrapbook that because it's really funny when he does that. And we all do kind of chuckle when he says, not funny. So you'll see that's going to be my title here in a little bit. Um, another new thing in Doodlebug's collections is the this and that 12 by 12 sticker pages. These are great for multi-purpose. I mean, you can always find something from them to use on your layouts, whether it's a quote or whatever. Today, I am using hearts and stars to fill in my spaces in between the tags and frames where I have a little bit of extra room. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go totally crazy with my enamel dots. Now, <laughs> I know you're thinking, whoa, 
Christine, you're going to use a lot of enamel dots. That's expensive. Uh, it is, but it isn't. I'm not using a ton of other embellishments on this project. So yes, while I'm going to end up using nearly a whole pack of enamel dots, you're also going to see I didn't use any patterned paper. Um, I'm not using a ton of stickers. Uh, and so it all, you know, it all balances out. Um, every layout has its things that we do a lot of and they add up. Um, it's also, you know, I love enamel dots, so I just have tons of them on hand all the time. I am filling in, you know, the enamel dots from Doodlebug, they have three different sizes. And so I'm filling in all the little spaces with colors that aren't adjacent to it, hopefully, and um, just filling it up, clearing all the spaces and really making this whole area a big focal point. Doodlebug has enamel dots now that are both uh, shiny, glossy, and also matte ones. And today I'm using the matte ones um, because that's what I had that matched the collection for Flea Market. One of the other things I want to point out here that I'm doing with this layout and, and was intentional about is that I am making this not a fall themed layout. Flea Market is a fall themed collection, but it's not so heavily fall themed that you can't use it for just a general piece and the colors especially lend themselves to boy projects. It comes with several different colors of washi tape, um, some patterned, some solid colors. Uh, this one is one of the solid ones. There's another one that's uh, clouds. It's a more, well, one color anyway. Um, and then there's some with polka dots and leaves also. Um, I opted for the green just to go with the grass in the background of the picture and to coordinate with the tags. Now I added on my title using some letter stickers from Doodlebug. Um, I, I debated back and forth on the placement of the title. This ended up, I, you know, I tried several spots and I didn't put those on video for you because you would have watched five minutes of me moving things around. Um, but my final decision was to keep them there above the picture and it says, as you would expect, not funny um, to go along with the story that I'm trying to capture. Once again, you can see <laughs> I'm trying to get things nice and straight. It's not always the easiest. I need that tool as soon as possible so it can shoot lasers for me and tell me where things will be nice and straight. Um, I'm also, if you notice on the picture, I also added on a little thing that says smile. Just because I liked the color that it added to the corner of the picture there. And then now I'm adding some little phrases from the this and that collection. Um, it comes with some fall themed phrases, but it also comes with some cute things like adorable and happy and just some general phrases that again, they work for anything. Totally apply to fall, but they don't have to. Um, and I'm applying those all around so that I add a new, another little bit of color and if you know my work at all, you know I like to have lots of text on it because I don't always have my journaling right there in your face. So I like to add little text pieces so that people can see, you know, that the story is telling a happy story or whatever. Um, also on the this and that sticker set is uh, what they used to call fancy frills. They are now included on that instead of their own separate sticker pack. And I'm going to use this one, I'm going to cut it in half so it's six inches, and then I'm going to center it along the bottom there. I picked this one for two reasons. I like the color, and I just like the whimsy of it. Um, looks like squiggly lines, like a little kid drew them, and it works perfectly to go with the uh, personality I was trying to have for the layout. This one, you could pop out all the white pieces that are in it, but I didn't have to there because it was on a white background. Hope you've enjoyed a little tour in my just for fun scrapbooking. We'll see you later this week with more videos. Thanks so much.